I'll be back soon, Jeremy. Then we'll go back to the city. How fun. I do like riding in the motor car. <laughs> There's something undeniably quaint about calling a car a motor car. Is there any chance he'll relapse back to his previous condition? None at all. He is forever cured from all worries and other difficult feelings. God, I would love to have a lobotomy. Hit me with that. Have you seen Detective Cornby? I'm sure he's around here somewhere, poking and prodding. Give me that sweet, sweet ice pick to the eye. Oh, Ruth. Well done, Miss Hartwood. You officially made Dorsetto the dullest place in existence again. Oh, thank you. Happy to be of service. She's wearing the Edward Carnby mask as well from the first game. Because that's what it used to look like. Have you seen Detective Carnby anywhere? <laughs> Still chasing that lovable palooka around, are you? I'm sure you'll find him. Can I write to you when I get back to town? <laughs> you are too sweet, Miss Hartwood. I'll look forward to reading all about your tedious routine. Oh, she's so mean. I love it. Good to see you're still with us, miss. Are you hungry? No, thank you. I'm still a bit woozy. Ooh, is that gumbo? I make it every year. We set up a little feast by the wishing tree and start a new year together. Mm. Have you seen Mr. Carnby? I haven't seen him for a while. Maybe he left. <laughs> sure, come on, says, uh, tell on is everything I wish I was. That's fun. She's so, she's so stylish and interesting. I almost forgot this was here. The very heart of Deceto, you know. Almost time to call on her. Why? Yeah, we'll address that later. <laughs> do you know what's about to happen here? Oh, just a little ceremony we do each year on the eve of St. John. We raise our glasses to the old wishing tree here and ask for a better year. Hmm. Is it all for show? Or do you actually believe the tree can help? Well, I guess some of us do. I mean, Lottie and Mags are pretty invested. Taking it a little too far, you know. This is such an interesting section. Sounds like you might be in a cult. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you think that. What is it that you do? Is it like the voodoo rituals you read about in the papers? I don't know, miss. I never saw one up close. My family has always been suspicious of the hoodoo. You haven't seen Detective Carnby, have you? No, and I hope he stays away. I don't think he would understand what is about to happen here. Do we agree with that? Wait for Detective Carnby. Okay, nope. Finish having conversations with everyone. Looks like a storm's coming. Radio says it could get real bad. Floodings and such. Oh, it's the volumetric lights. Well, I should probably get moving before the weather gets worse. Have you seen Detective Carnby? Not for a while, but he says he's going to wait for you.
Take care, Batiste. You too, Miss Emily. <laughs> Definitely doesn't look utterly crazy with this lighting. <laughs> All right, let's see what a girl has to say. This little demon child. What are you doing? Preparing for the ceremony. This time she will come. I'm sure of it. Who's coming, Grace? The black goat of the woods. The mother of a thousand young. I hope you find what you're looking for, Grace. Whatever it is that you need. That's a terrible thing to say. What does that mean? <laughs> Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell, oh, there are praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever there Ever praises, there praises, 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 praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Hear us, hear us, us and take pity on us. Take pity on us. Hear us, brother. Ever there praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother, and take pity on us. What are you doing? This is madness. This heals what needs to happen. She's just a child. Edward, get out, Emily. We're leaving. The goat, the goat, the goat. No, there has to be a sucker bus. No. Come with me. It's inspired. Oh my god. <laughs> it's inspired to reimagine. Oh my god. Uh, it's inspired to imagine, to reimagine. I have to stop that thing. It's gonna kill everything in its way. The chanting, the Cthulhu chanting. You know, the ya yeah, ya, yeah, uh, into the 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 hawing of a goat, the bleeding of a goat. Yeah yeah. That's that is genuinely inspired. That's very cool. Um, that was insanity. Hey, Azri. Uh, I was not expecting this. This is fantastic. I cannot believe people rated this game poorly. I am still mad about it. This game is great. This is fantastic. Dear God. This, this was really effective carnage. Also, terrifying. What in God's name? <laughs> what did we just witness? Uh, that was fully not what I expected to occur. 
at this point in time, the chanting and the music in the background is really good. This is great. All right, heals us up to full. I still have a piece of wood I can beat the thing with. Uh, that was nuts. That was awesome. All right. And I guess now it's just make our way through the house, huh? I got new debris. Yeah, this thing is nasty and we shouldn't have killed the black pharaoh. That would have been, uh, it would have been good for us not to kill that thing, huh? Maybe the pact was the right idea. Just putting that out there. Do I just... This is all I'm doing. I can't tell if anything I'm doing is working. <laughs> is this like, is this a boss fight or is there a puzzle that I just like, a door I just didn't notice I had to go in? Okay. Oh, it's got goat feet. Uh, okay. What do I do? What do I do? Do I go around to its butt and do I keep shooting it? What do I do? Okay, it's giving birth. It's giving birth. We hate this. Oh, I got scrunched. All right, that was a little bit intense. That was an intense second section where I just was lost and didn't know what to do. Oh, we have to redo the whole thing now. Okay. I see. All right, we can do it this time. I believe in us. I'm gonna hammer it with pistol bullets uh, and flare gun ammo if I still have the flare gun. I do. Oh, not the one I wanted. Can't seem to hit me right here. That's machine gun. 
Where's pistol? That's shotgun. Did I make did I make the one mistake and grab the wrong bullets? There we go. Do I just have to hit its those parts? I think that's what it is. I have to hit those parts. Oh, I got so close to picking up the thing. That's fine. All right. Oh, I can't even get around it, can I? from me. Ugh. The, the enemies just become too much at a certain point. It's hard to keep up with them. All right, I know what to do now, though. We just have to hit the weak points. So I need to figure out where they actually are here in this fight. This is a great monster design. I really dig this. I just need to figure out how to effectively uh, crowd control the monsters. I guess I should just switch to my uh, my big dangerous gun did I get it I think I did nope. this it's gonna turn its ugly head and I'm gonna pop it Let's focus on taking the enemies out. There's that one. The other one got that one and where's last oh god don't birth anything there we go okay i figured it out
All right, for something that's supposed to have a thousand young. Oh, I got a candlestick. That's fun. That's quirky. There we go. I, I, it's, it has the things now. All right. God damn it. Damn it. All right. Oh God. There we go. Reload these. Did I kill it? Okay. Uh. Emily, are you all right? I don't understand anything that just happened. What was that? The whole gang was a cult dedicated to something called the Black Goat of the Woods. I've been trying to gather as much information as I could. It was only after you started talking about monsters that I thought maybe there was some truth to all the nonsense I was finding. Where's Jeremy? Uncle, are you all right? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Don't say that. You made it out. Be happy. I think that's a reference okay? to the original. No! Hey, kid. You doing all right? Uh, no! It wasn't what I expected. But you can't always get what you want. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. Let's go. Can I come? Don't leave her. You have to take her to Hell's Kitchen. What on earth are you talking about? Huh. Interesting. All right, so we beat Alone in the Dark. That was a really interesting game. Uh, on one hand, it was way better than I expected it to be. Oh, this music is really good, but I'm probably going to have to mute it. Um. This is a this is a fantastic little experience. Um, I'm really sad that um, this volume is so loud. Oh my god! Um, I'm really sad that it got kind of torn apart in mainstream reviews, as I've said a few times in this series so far, because this game is not deserving of ire. This game is incredibly cool. This game is a awesome throwback by a double A team. This is the kind of indie game, indie game. It is published by THQ, but like the development team is not some huge developer. Um, this is this is a really cool game. This is a really cool throwback game to a period when games were not as big as they are now. And overall, this was really impressive, like genuinely really impressive vocal performances, really excellent writing, 
um, fun puzzles. I actually had to use my brain, which was like pretty sick. That was a sick game. <laughs> I like that all the characters are uh, like segmented into these like different groups that like if you just don't learn about them, then like you just don't you just don't you don't learn anything like you, I have no idea about the cult because my character Emily was not really involved with finding anything out about them I knew it was Shub Nigorath but I didn't know that it was uh anything else you know and like that's that's interesting that's really interesting and I loved all the voice acting and all of like the pagan ritual and like Egyptian Mesopotamian not Mesopotamian um Phoenician Assyrian mythology that they like sprinkled in there of like this idea of like tracing back these elder gods to like way old civilizations that was really interesting I'm I'm really excited to go back and play through as uh as Carnby just to see if he just genuinely does have a different story I believe he does now I don't think obviously the whole game is going to be different but I think that they do have some exclusive missions and some stuff like I would be shocked if if Carnby ever went to Tarawea or any of those places, you know? Um, just really fascinating. This is a fascinating game. Um, Peace Mill says, why is it being trashed again? Issues with the console port and it's not as grand as Alan Wake 2? No, actually, Alan Wake 2 hasn't really come up at all um, in context to it. People are sad that, that people are mad that it's not Resident Evil 4 remake. Like, the, people are irritated that it's not a, one of those games, but. I don't think that this game was trying to be. I think that this game is a throwback to an even earlier, more restrained form of survival horror than Resident Evil. And out of all of the games to compare it to, the games that I would compare it to are like Resident Evil 1. <laughs> and like, yeah, the game's combat is not amazing. The game's stealth is not amazing, but that doesn't make it a bad game. It just means its combat is okay and its stealth is okay. Like who cares, right? And the rest of the game is built so well around it that am I going to give this a 10 out of 10? Is this going to be my game of the year? Hell no. Like this, there's no way <laughs> it's got too many problems for that. It's very unpolished, but this game has the spirit. This is the kind of shit that I want more of in the world. I do not want more Assassin's Creed's. I, the Doom Jazz recordings, oh, they even call it out. Uh, this is great. Uh, this is fantastic stuff. Um, I, you know, this game is not going to be my game of the year by any stretch of the imagination. And I don't want more Assassin's Creed's. I don't want more Far Cry's. I want more weird ass games like this that are small and strange and do like one thing really well and other things passably. And if the industry had more of this and people didn't look at this and just immediately go like, oh, it's a flavorless third person shooter. It's mid. It's it's mid. It's not Kino Peak like Resident Evil 4 remake. Then like, yeah, we would have a better fucking industry. <laughs> like for real. This is the shit that people should be spending $60 on. Not Far Cry 6. Give up the Fortnite Battle Pass for three seasons and buy this game instead. Like, please <laughs> it's all i'm asking people so like this this game is good this was a really great time i really liked this game uh and i'm gonna go back and play as carnby and that's that's just gonna be how it is like i'm one thing here's one thing that's for sure this game's score is the best score of the year bar none so far the music in this game slaps so hard the second that i can buy the soundtrack or like get a deluxe edition on gog or whatever to download it i am doing that instantly it is happening the moment it can because the doom jazz in this game is so good it's so good this is this is the kind of thing that people go on to talk about for 20 years after it comes out and in a way, the bad reviews of this game are going to give it more life than if it simply just got like an 8 out of 10 and then passed. That is the one silver lining to this. Because people are going to look up this game and be confused why all of these people like Ragnar and G-Man and Ben again and all of these YouTube reviewers that like gave it really great reviews. These people who like make videos about like niche RPG maker games and Deus Ex and the origins of survival horror and 
Decker Nation and and all of these cool games that people like, like uh, Baroque, they're going to be like, wait, why the hell did they put all these reviews that are titled like, hey, the new Alone in the Dead doesn't suck? Why are they going to, why would they do that if the game only has a 60 on Metacritic? And the reason is because it's pretty fucking interesting. Non-sum qualis arum? What does that mean? That's Latin. Let's look that up really quick. Uh, And like, just in general, yeah. That was a line. That's a line from House of Leaves. Non sum qualis arum. Uh, interesting. I don't know what it means. I'm looking it up right now. Um, I am not what I used to be, which is true. This game is not what it used to be. It is not a pure remake of the original. It is a very interesting take on the original. Um, but yeah, man. What a fantastic little bite-sized game. It This is the kind of game that makes me very sad that video game rentals don't exist anymore and that we don't have the ecosystem for that really outside of like a fucking red box. Uh, because this is the kind of game that if you rented it for a weekend, holy fuck, would that be awesome? This would be the greatest weekend of my life renting this. And I would think about this game for the rest of my life because of how awesome that one weekend would be. That is what this game is. Oh. How unique. What a what a great experience. What a great experience. I had so much fun with this game. We're going to we're going to continue. We're going to play through Carnby's story for sure. As far as I'm concerned, this was a better use of my March 21st, the day after this game came out, than playing Dragon's Dogma 2 would have been. For real. I This game was such a treat. I had so much fun with this. It's not perfect. It's got issues. It's unpolished. It does not have the best combat, but boy, I dug this so much. This was great. Buy this game, especially if it's on sale, but even if it's not support games like this for sure show THQ that they should finance projects like this.